Hamad six times appeared in the Quran. I visited famous uh, specialist in hieroglyphs in Paris, and I told him I know a text which appeared uh, during the seventh century of the Christian era. He, he, he knew perfectly well the Arabic language. I wrote Haman before him, and he said to me that is not possible, because the hieroglyphs were absolutely unknown between the third century and the discovery of Champollion during the 19th century. It's not possible. I told him, yes, yes, uh, it's not possible, but maybe uh, you will have another opinion uh, when you, you will see the, this Arabic text. What it is this text? I, I told him, uh, I want to, at first, that you tell me the meaning of uh, Haman in hieroglyph. I said, me, Haman is a family name of the uh, new kingdom, and if you consult uh, to the library of the Collège de France, the famous dictionary of the family name of the new kingdom by a German author whose name is Ranke, you might find Haman. And he said to me, I do not remember exactly what was the profession of a man, but the profession of a man is indicated in this dictionary. I went to the library, and in the dictionary it was written, a man, a director of the workers in quarries. That is to say, the man who was building with stones, of course, <laughs> because at that time, the great monuments were built uh, with stone, not at all with wood. And so that you have in this dictionary of the hieroglyphic name, uh, the name of Haman, uh, who, to whom the pharaoh said, build the tower. And when I came back to this professor, this expert, and I said to him, have a look, and I opened the Quran before him, he was stupefied without any voice. I told him, like the Bible, preserve the name of Ramesses. The Quran preserved the name of Haman. He was stupefied and he was without voice. And uh, he said, maybe, maybe uh, we might uh, write something about that in the future. And unfortunately, six months later, he died.